Yo, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to the Rubber Duck themed featured contracts that were released this week. There's six of them. I'm going to be splitting them into three different, different three separate videos just so, uh, you know, they're not too long. So the first two contracts I'll be covering is the Rubber Ducky, you're the one, and 47 goes duck hunting. So the timestamps will be in the description. So first up, Rubber Ducky, you're the one, three targets, th three you have to kill with an explosive device. And here is the briefing. So Nelson Ernest Lafayette has found that his partner, Burt West, has been having an affair with Marty McDuck Valley, and uh, who quacks like a duck and thinks he is a duck. So Ernie Lafayette has been having therapeutic sessions with the ducks in the pond. He can't take the cheating anymore, so Ernie requested, to us, to, re requested us to eliminate Burt and Marty, as well as himself, each with a rubber ducky, and he requested you to sing the rubber ducky song before, he, before the kills. I'm not going to do that. We're going to start in the Wilton Creek start location, and we're going to bring along the Seeker 1. We're going to bring along both breach charges. You get one from Hitman 1 and one from Hitman 3. I'm going to have smuggled in the park the remote explosive duck. As long as it's not proximity, that's the one we're going to go with. Any remote explosive duck will do. From the very start, we're going to go right behind this tree trunk right here to keep our body well hidden, and then shoot this woman in the head with the Seeker. That's going to get rid of her for a while. Because uh, we don't want him to get to investigate this kill first of all. We're going to turn off this radio while we're in this bush and turn it back on. He's going to go over to investigate. Meanwhile, once he does that, we're going to grab a couple of muffins off the table. One of them we're going to use to smack him in the head to knock him out. Drag his body in the bush. Put a breach charge next to his body. I'll replace it or just drop it. Don't really matter. Go ahead and explode that, and make sure the body is still well hidden in the bush. Once we've done that, we're going to head to the garage that's just opposite the street. And we need to open the front door. And at the back of the garage is going to be uh, some emetic rat poison. Take out your other remaining breach charge, and place the breaching charge onto the emetic rat poison. Just place it on it. Once you've done that, pick up the rat poison. Don't pick up the uh, the breaching charge. This triggers like a little miniature glitch where you can basically hold an illegal weapon and it will distract and lure anyone that's a guard to anywhere you want to on the map. It's a very good way of luring guards into you know secluded areas very discreetly. So what we're going to do, hit the target's over there, but we don't want to distract anyone else. There's a guard over there, we don't want to distract him. So, Because once you've got one person's attention, you can't distract multiple people, it doesn't work that way. So they'll see it like they've seen a weapon on the floor, and because you've got it in your hand, they're just going to be following you around, and that's how it's, that's basically how it works. So he's now seen it in my hand. So we're just going to walk him all the way up to the shed over here. There will be a woman uh, being sick behind the shed, but momentarily she will walk away after she's done. And that gives us a chance to knock out our target and throw him into the shed to take him out for our second kill. So we're not going to pass through the bush because he will uh, he will stop following you. So make sure you walk around the bush. But once we're behind here and there's no the coast is clear, we're going to take out the remaining muffin that we had and knock him out. And then we're going to throw him into the shed. Pick up the breaching charge that was dropped and make sure you have that on you. And then drop it on the body. Maybe a little bit weird at the moment. Let's try and find it. There we go. We've got to take out the rat poison and then pick it up. It's a bit weird how this works, but yeah. It's a lot easier said than uh, explained. There we go. Once we've taken him out there with the, uh, with the remaining breach charge, we're just going to go over to this little, uh, little bin and take out the explosive dock that we have. And we only have one more target. He's going to be a nurse. He's going to be hanging around by the, the shed on the uh, the south side of the map. And it's quite simple taking him out, actually. Because once you explode him, he'll uh, just basically fall into the river behind him. And that will instantly hide his body. And we have a nice little quick exit right behind him as well. We do have to create a distraction first and foremost. There's going to be like a security guard outside the front. So we need to basically distract him first before we do this. We don't want him spotting us. But just before you head over to the shed, though, there's going to be a crowbar hanging out the side of this truck. Go, grab, go and grab that. We're going to use that on the manhole at the exit. So with the rubber duck in hand, 
Though, like I said, there's a security guard in the front of the uh, the shed here, so we need to get him to come over here to turn around to just to get his attention away. So once he walks off, we're gonna make sure this nurse doesn't walk away first or foremost. Place the dock in front of them. And go ahead, get your distance, and then go ahead and explode it. And he should just fall right backwards into the river itself. Once we've done that, now we're going to head over to this manhole, just, just over here. And once we've cracked that open, we can exit the mission for a silent assassin. Right. There we go. Next up is uh, 47 goes duck hunting. This is taking place in Bangkok. We've got three targets. One you have to take out with an explosive device, one with a pistol and a sniper rifle. It says the ducky gods have felt a disturbance in Bangkok. This was caused by a trio of pretending to be prominent members of the IDS, also known as the International Ducky Society. This is an acceptable behavior. 47 must do the unthinkable and he must go duck hunting. So we're gonna start on the riverside landing, bring along the seeker one, bring along an explosive rubber duck, Bring along a briefcase with the uh, any pistol you want to in it. I've cho chosen the the ducky version just for the just for the giggles. And in the 47 suite, we're gonna store a suppressed sniper rifle. Anyone will do. From the very start, we are going to take the pistol out of the briefcase and put it away because we need this briefcase. So we're gonna create, use this as a distraction. So we're gonna head up these stairs. Our first target is gonna be up here, so we're gonna set this up for a little bit later on. So what we're going to do, just to get us to stand up so we have a better shot, go ahead and place the briefcase on the floor, come into this room over here, take out your Seeker 1, okay. and once she stands up and you've got a clear shot, go ahead and shoot her once. If you've missed her, go ahead and take a second shot. But she is going to take the briefcase to a guard, but just we're going to grab it off her. Um, I, I found this and I thought I'd better leave it with you guys. So she's going to walk down into the basement area, so that's where we're going to head and wait for her. Just going to grab that wrench there, even though we don't use it. But yeah, this is essentially just setting up the last kill before we exit the map. And we're doing it in this order because when we take out Thomas Craig, he is going to get found after about a minute and a half. So we have to make sure we take him out. Uh, pretty late on in the mission. He's the guy that we have to snipe, if you're just wondering. Is it Thomas or is it Duchess? No, it's Thomas. Definitely Thomas. Right. So we come in this room here, knock her out. I'm drag her body in the corner of the room and then drop the duck on her body. Like I said, we're going to leave that there for later on. Right now that's set up. We're going to now uh, head up to the upstairs, and we're going to take out the uh, the stalker, and we have to take out that other guy. That we have to snipe, like I said. How are you? So what we're going to do is circle around the back side. So if you head towards the uh, the south side of the map. Yeah, there's a target to your right there. He's got a woman next to him. That's the problem. So we're going to have to distract her a little bit later on. So first of all, we're going to climb up the pipe all the way to the top. This is 47's floor. So we're going to climb up here. And grab the sniper rifle. Now, you can get this on the way back if you want to. It might be make it a little bit easier for you because, you know, carrying a sniper rifle on your back is going to make you more suspicious when NPCs see you. So you might be better off to go and pick this up on the way back. It's completely up to you, but I've chosen to grab it now before we go up. Now we're upstairs. What we've got to do now is just avoid these NPCs. 
and we need to head upstairs. We are in a trespassing zone, so just keep that in mind. But like I said, if you've got the sniper rifle on your back, you're going to get spotted just that little bit quicker, so just keep that in mind. And uh, one of the objectives is not do not get spotted, so... We're going to take out the, uh, the pistol now, headshot our target. And now we're going to head back downstairs. Again, avoiding all the NPCs. Pass back through the kitchen, and we're going to slide back down the pipe to 47 Suite again. Like I said, you didn't have to pick up the sniper rifle on the way up. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Go back down. That's the annoying part when you got everything ma mapped to the same button. Yeah, so just go one floor down, take the sniper rifle out, and like I said, there'll be there'll be a woman standing next to the target. So we're going to shoot. Towards the left, just to get her to turn around, and then we're going to headshot our target. He's going to fall down below. His body isn't completely hidden though, just to keep that in mind. Like you said, you've got about a minute or so before that body is found. So we're running straight to the exit now. Just to make sure that body isn't found. Because once she goes back to the normal routine and she leans over the ledge, she's going to see that body on the beach. So with our remote in our hands... Before we detonate, we're going to make sure we detonate this as late as possible before we exit the map. Therefore, no bodies will be found, and we'll get our silent assassin rating. So go ahead and explode it just a few seconds before you exit. There we go. And once we've exited here, we'll get an easy silent assassin there. 47 goes duck hunting. So that's going to do it for this one, so thank you very much for watching, feel free to drop a like if it helped you out, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and if you're looking for the duck build dollars and tub time, I'll be covering the next of it and that in the next video, and the video after that will be Boomstick and the Night of the Duck Cried, so I'll leave a links to those in the descriptions once they're released as well, so a big shout out to Bedry, Wandering Wendy, Quantum, Constantine Muller, Mark Davis, and Paul for thank you very much for coming top tier Psycho Assassin members, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video, thank you very much for watching, cheers.